hello everyone so we are starting to play american truck simulator earlier i used to play you know euro truck simulator but you know the everyone knows about you know peter belt and all it comes via uh, the american truck simulator so i have already you know started uh, this game so just to give you overview uh, you can get this game via you know stream as well as you can also download via you know uh, their official website as well and in terms of the control uh, you have multiple option to control so if i for example if i go to gameplay option you have option to you know uh, change uh, your automatic settings right real automatic like simple automatic which is forward backward and all real automatic where you need to you know do drive neutral and reverse sequential is your manual and a shifter right uh, so you can play this game on your console okay which is you know steering mount and you know the gear mount and console or you can play via keyboard and mouse as well and then there are lots of settings so i've done you know uh, this so i'll create a separate video doing this uh, configuration so we'll go in you know deep so currently i already have say example you can in here in the top left corner you will see the job descriptions so which is called quick job cargo is lift truck and this is the truck i'm actually using which is oversized because uh, you see you know uh, it is actually very heavy uh, truck okay so if i go to drive then i'm already actually driving so it will load up the game for me and and what exactly it helps you doing that you know uh, when you driving for example this is everyone knows the peter belt so i will go to drive mode and then let's start and one of the disadvantages i see or drawback i'll see in this truck right when i uh, initiate the gyro or the corner control right it doesn't actually or it normally we people you uh, mr system engineer so from that you know gyro and all so cruise control right is the right word i'll tell you so cruise control then if i for example i'm just you know activating the cruise control nothing is changed on the screen but cruise control is activated but i'm not able to see any any indicator like what is the maximum limit and all so we have to go you know on manual certain trucks have those configuration because i drive earlier the uh, you know uh, not peter belt but other trucks like man and all in euro truck simulator i used to see you know very clearly so i'll just on the wiper because there is a rain and this rain you can also change in the setting you can change the rain probability in the settings so i already keep it low still it is raining so i'll go and you know so when you uh, initiate the cruise right then you can now so yeah, since it is american or euro right so now i'm getting alarm to actually pull off uh, to the weight center to get it weight so i'll go and pull up if you do not do that then you will be on a you know around 600 or 700 dollar fine you will get right so to avoid that is better to pull off uh, you know at that location so i'm just pulling up there 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 now yes oh actually i went ahead let me just go back i'll go to reverse and then go back think this will do the enough yes so yes 76 ton so if you see right in the bottom left it is 76 ton of gross weight i have my net weight of 53 ton so around 20 uh, you know 23 ton of my uh, the curve weight which is my truck trailer and all so which is taken that is acceptable and we are we are ready to go right so we'll start going again so from where we are going so i'll let me open the so if there is a shortcut for map you can either you know go to the hamburger menu you know by clicking etc and then go back to the world map or you can directly click uh, m key that will show you the map okay so we are coming from you know uh, varnal and we're going to Oregon. okay ogden sorry not Oregon. to cluster Suns, right so this is where we're going there are alternate route as well but this is the best route which i see and we are already on free fuel right and one of the difference which i got from you know from this game to the euro truck simulator is that uh, in this game uh, let me turn on the light otherwise i'll also get a fine for this now nah? so in this game right uh, the pet the service center right like petrol or diesel right uh, they uh, those pumps are not at the highway right they are actually exit of the highway so you have to, every time when you want to do uh, you know fill up have to do exit let me show you uh, how right for example here is a pump right uh, let me just see how here is a pump see so it is uh, so it is on the highway but let me just go to multi there are multiple pumps right which is not on the highways 
so in this yeah, actually this highway is actually good when i go below right on this highway right see the pump is an uh, you know exit same here the pump is at exit okay so there are uh, in euro right of uh, 90% of the pumps are on directly uh, on the highway not on the exit but here i see more than 30 40% of the pumps are on exit so you have to plan your journey accordingly so and the fine levels uh, when i compare with the euro truck simulator to this uh, american truck simulator does cost you more in terms of fine for example your basic uh, in euro is $250 right with your if you cross the signal here is around 380 420 depends on the which state you have right i also paid 580 so depends right and currently i am on loan so yeah so that's one so i'll i'll create a separate video of doing so so now uh, let's drive drive and you know there are question which i you know people have right like how to have a center for peter belt right so if i refer the uh, Uh, front end of you know the marker which is you know lo logo of the peter belt and keep it with your uh, crossing lines so if you keep it within the crossing lines right and you see the both mirrors right or the cameras you see i am inside the both the solid lines okay or the uh, within the lane right so this is the practice which you can use to follow that right so that's one part now uh, okay so 51 ton i am actually on full throttle still i am not able to climb i am on 26 mile per hour right the reason is solid right i have a very high huge load so let me show you my load so this is my load see this is oversized load it is a tractor so there are good views as well right uh, in, in this one one of the advantage which i see there are some weaving point as well which is not there in the earlier euro truck simulator which but it is there in the uh, in this simulator right so if i go with this so you will see the sound of you know the traffic uh, but if it is inside a cabin no very minimum sound right and if i go to two uh, so this navigation done through the you know the number like 1 2 3 4 so one is the uh, cabin camera two is the overhead camera Three is the top camera. Fourth is the you know the fronted camera on the bumper. The fifth is the side camera. Six, uh, six is the actually very uh, front uh, rear you know the front downward camera, right? So I'll go with one uh, because uh, currently I'm actually I'm climbing. And you can ch choose the navigation zoom out uh, depends on F5, right? And other menus like you know uh, what is the cargo? So my cargo is lift truck. I'm going from Og Ogden Plaster to and expected delivery is friday 148 am to friday 28 am and uh, based on my speed uh, my eta is 537 pm on thursday which is quite uh, you know 12 hours before you know the uh, deadline so i am very comfortable in that position okay so let me just change the view yeah, okay so now you see right and i'm i'm currently running on top graphic right the top mode with the graphic so if i show you there are multiple options you don't have to manually go and change if you are a beginner you can directly go and make it to ultra right which is a max level which will give you four uh, two k uh, two k resolution default refresh rate and all and you can go to advanced setting to change so if you see all right it's all a high ultra high ultra only this in medium which is mirror distance which is fine because i don't need the mirror distance to go that much right and this coping alignment is on and secondary vehicle light is as well which is on right which is help you when you doing this you know in the night so let okay so, any uh, in euro truck simulator most of highways doesn't have any street uh, you know thing oh hold on okay so this is the exit uh, i always always miss the exit i don't know what will happen to me okay ah uh, now this is one right and it have a signal so most of the highways have a signal uh, which is very strange okay my load is behind let me see if any damage no damage okay that's good actually actually i'm talking right i miss my exit so i try to cover it so currently we are have uh, 55 miles left and with 1 hour 5 minutes which normally you know we will cover in 5 to 6 minutes so this video will not go that you know much so we'll you know end up in 10 minutes of video so yeah so or also you can actually play you know 
pause. You can also play, play, press R so we can see the music player as well as radio stream, right? So you can also configure the radio stream as well. So you can refer to redeem.rtf in American Drug Simulator folder in document on how to add your own music and radio stream, right? Or you can update from the internet. So when you click on this, the stream is available. Now you can click and play any of the streams. So I'll not play that because that will make my you know uh, high sound. So I'll not do that. So that's one of the option, right? Or you can also load the, your own music. So if you go to music, I already load my music. So I'll give you how to actually load your music in the music play, which is very easy. Uh, when you open the your game, right, uh, and you save one time, it will create a folder in your document. Which you see user, you know, in the document folder, and in that folder, like you know, folder name called Euro Truck Simulator. When you open that, you will see a music uh, folder, and then you go and just simply paste that. So the supported format like M you know MP3 AVI you know kind of format which will support right. Uh, you can get the list of uh, the audio file format from the description or the from the Euro Truck uh, sorry American Truck Simulator website. So that's to you uh, how to do that. Uh, now I have my exit here. Okay, let me see. I think this is the exit. No, I think I made a mistake. So this was not the exit. So this is very confusing, right? <laughs> so I have to go round and round uh, to actually take uh, the again to do this uh, change the highway, right? Okay. Uh, I got a damage because you know because of the uh, rain, right? The roads are slippery, so they are actually not in sync. So uh, oh, thank God, actually the you know the U-turn is very near, so I can very easily take a U-turn. Some sometimes when I miss, you know the exit uh, i used to actually you know, take longer trip so what i do i actually do wrong way traffic movement for uh, some time and then do i uh, normally you get around 250 dollar of fine but that will save your time so that is one of the method but i'll not normally recommend it if you have low money but if you have a money then you can do that so that's another point will not have an impact on your experience which is very much needed so let me just do a break and i'll then i have stopped and then let me Okay, now it got stuck. Let me log my differential. So the load is get stuck because okay. Now we are able to go here. Yeah. So we have to very make sure, right? When it taking a sudden turn, I think this was for the exit. Okay, and taking any sudden turns, so you have to make because you have an oversized load, right? So you have to be very careful because otherwise the load damage will cost a significant amount of reduction as well as experience. So you see, my load is getting rubbed near the block. So I'll just you know, there's no option, right? I already taken a wide turn, but the turn is very small. Uh, I'm not a professional driver, so I can't help it on that mode, right? But I'm trying to, I'm learning as well, just like you guys. So, and this is okay. Uh, let me avoid the differential because normally I, I just activated the differential so that you know I can actually move out. Normally, so the locking of differential means that, right? Sometime when you stuck, right, and one of your pair start uh, have a low friction as compared to the other pair of right for example your left side of the tire have a low friction so all the energy will goes to the low side uh, you know uh, left side of that uh, tire that is a basic functionality of a differential right that help you in making a turn for example when you make a turn your inner uh, for example you're taking a right turn your right side wheels will move slower as compared to your left side wheel because uh, right side wheel actually take a needed lower distance it will cover a lower distance as compared to white. So the differential help in doing so. So based on the friction or based on the resistance on the tire, it transfers. So example, if you have a higher uh, restriction, then it transfer lower power to you. And if you have a higher, uh, you know, lower restriction, then it transfer a lower power, higher power to you. So when you lock the differential, it transfer the equal amount of power to both of the wheels. So if, uh, if for example, if more of my wheel is stuck, then I can lock the differential that will actually avoid the function of a differential and then you know start transmitting 50-50 units which is equal equal uh, power to both the wheels. 
so that uh, the high traction wheels start also moving that will uh, help you to our drive so that is the same significant you have when you do a four wheel drive car right but in four wheel drive it still there is a two uh, two transmission units with two differential still your uh, say example your front as well as rear axle both actually have a differential so if you for example uh, you get stuck in your both front as well as rear right side uh, axle actually or wheel get stuck right then with four wheel drive also you get stuck because your both differential will transfer the power to you so in that case scenario if the vehicle have a slip differential which is actually help you to lock that then you can move out when you, when you lock then it will uh, also tr start transferring the power to the left side so that's a little bit of gyan so uh, bear be with me on that and if you don't you can also move forward right uh, you can play forward the videos right so that's uh, for my no uh, so let i think this is my exit so i am only left with 3 miles with 30 minutes left so again i will have signal here it's a traffic signal so let me try to break the signal uh, i'll not able to do that okay i'll break the other signal to show you guys what is a fine right okay hold on put a break put a break right. so normally when you have heavy turn right uh, do not stand on the right now see i get stuck now yeah i start move that but actually otherwise i have to call for a service and the service cost is way high here yes. okay i'm taking a turn yes that we got it yeah so i think it's only 2 mile of you know so i'm doing a quick job i'm not using my own truck uh because i don't have much money and you know the own truck doesn't have the base where actually my truck is parked doesn't have good job offer so to which you maximize your time while playing you can always go for a quick job if you see your uh, the uh, the base where your truck or you are present uh, doesn't have so let me break this signal so that i can show you the fine okay so i'm breaking the signal uh, yeah okay it's very difficult turn here actually okay okay yes yes uh, and this wrong way is still allowed right when you making a turn right and uh, because of the oversized load you have to do a you know wrong little bit of wrong way which is allowed there is no motion so the now water is stops i will stop the wiper okay and there is no fine because it was oversized so the front you are seeing a red signal so i'll try to break that signal so let's see how much fine i'm getting yeah so it's 480 dollars so normally to in euro it is 250 euro which is equivalent to i say around 300 dollar but here it is 480 dollars right so that's a huge amount so america does, does have a more fine one of the other advantage is that uh, while euro allow you for a drive up to 10.5 of power with uh, you know without sleeping this allow you more hours so it's normally american truck simulator allow around 14 hours so will you can cover ample amount of distance you know like uh, 1000 miles or you know 1100 miles depends on your say your speed or your load i have actually with euro truck simulator i cover you know i had a average of 100 km per hour you know uh, per hour the average i'm talking about not on max because i normally when i upgraded my truck so i'll show you the euro truck guide as well right when i upgraded the truck it actually allow me to go up to 145 km per hour which is still quite a huge number and you know euro truck there are certain highways where there is no limit on this speed so you can go as fast as you can so let me just go and park this to complete the delivery now i'll select this so if this oversize doesn't have you know the difficult parking now this will have a very simple parking right so i'll use it to get 25 more experience point so let me just go there so normally you can use you know uh, the window side or you can use the third point which is this one to navigate here okay so i'm just going in a right direction you can see both the cameras it is in perfect now start applying brake slowly 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 now we done all right so so that's the delivery and we'll give the summary page so that is you know excellent 360 miles which is around 588 uh, how fast i can calculate because uh, in euro it is copied from euro right so it is 1 km equals to 1 experience point so 368 mile is 588 km so i get 5 year experience point right so and similarly with proficiency bonus 
and then definitely trailer moving bonus right so now i upgraded to level 7 uh, so i'll upgrade to my just in time so normally what you do the you have to make a practice uh, put certain hazardous cargo stickers uh, in your navigation then you start doing one 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 so that you start getting the bonuses right see example 30 percent higher reward for finishing an important delivery 20 percent experience bonus doing for example if you make it only this one right uh, let me apply so if you make it that only then the bonus level will not be much higher right so i'll just you know i got some mail so let me just see uh, it's bank special transfer driver on equipment needed okay now uh now let me drive my quick job right so i'll go to fried mode and this is my uh, where i ride which is price which is stayed you know within the utah so if i see here i the uh, the top price per distance is a uh, three load trailer right which is 33 tons i am getting around 31.32 dollar per mile which is very low as compared to when i convert it is a kilometer which is around 25 to 30 kilometer right uh, dollar per kilometer so that's you know you know so i'll start doing though let me okay so i think uh, so when you set a gps destination uh, it will show you right heavy cargo optimized for heavy load impulse load so my truck doesn't have that you know the uh, requirement so to drive that so i have 2.2 kilo newton meter of torque around 40 so first gear ratio is 12.29 which is difficult retarder is there okay so i'll just go continue so i'll not have to upgrade because it's my new truck so i'll just go you no know, uh, navigating you know go and take that uh, load and then See, so now I am in my garage, so I'll just take an exit. So I'm going from my garage out, and I have to drive 18 miles to get you know the job. See, the three truck is actually move very fast. You know the Peter belt is Peter belt, right? You see the look. I have already customized. So see the look. Mm, you can, if you want to customize more, you can go to the canvas. So let me just see in canvas have any any deliveries as well. Let me just go check. Trying to yeah. Uh, Fried market. No, nothing. Nothing there. So I'll go back. Uh, Uh, the graphics is good actually. You just uh, see this guy. Right? So, uh, it's around 18 miles. I'll able to cover within 2 to 15 minutes. So, and still, you know, uh, Peter Belt is a classic example, right? It have all the analogs, no digital instruments. So it is a stop sign. So I'll stop, wait for the vehicle to pass, and then I'll drive. Now I can go. So I have three XL car truck. Uh, that will give me actually high traction on the roads whenever I require. So I'll just go here and just take the stun. I'll stop it. Uh, because I drive like that, not on the road but on the game. So yes, thank you everyone for seeing my video.